Well, again, everybody, and uh, welcome to another episode of the uh, Dukes of Hazard, generally Dodge Charger. Uh, I pretty much completed the uh, roll cage with its modifications, and uh, just kind of let me show you what's going on with it. Um, <clears throat> I basically went ahead and uh, cut four pieces at about an eighth of an inch on the on the uh, spruce and uh, I ended up gluing them to the uh, bottom ends of the uh, row cage. Uh, once that was set uh, I applied the same technique uh, with using the heat shrink and uh, ran the heat shrink up and over it and uh, used my heat gun and uh, uh, you know had it shrink over the two existing pieces and uh, to make it a solid uh, fit and uh, that helped raise up the uh, roll cage to where it needed to go. And then after that, I went ahead and then, uh, touched up with some uh, black satin paint. And uh, that should be ready to go. So that uh, basically that's uh, <clears throat> one more modification. And hopefully that fit issue will resolve itself once uh, everything gets put together. Uh, after that, I went ahead and uh, <clears throat> took the front bumper and uh, uh, went ahead and glued in place the uh, uh, headlight covers. Um, uh, for this one, I actually used the uh, canopy glue and uh, applied it to the back end of the uh, chrome and the uh, headlight covers and uh, let it set overnight. So that is uh, now in place. I did have to trim a little bit um, of the headlight covers just to uh, get it to fit inside the grill itself. But uh, <clears throat> that wasn't uh, too bad of a problem and uh, that's ready to go. So that is done. The next step that I took was basically uh, I went ahead uh, and worked down the back end of the uh, rear bumper. Um, and uh, I actually installed that in place. Uh, sorry you can't see it right now because I actually had it masked off because I did paint the uh, body of the uh, General Lee, um, which I'll get to in a little bit here, uh, uh, chrome silver, uh, yeah, the chrome silver. But uh, the rear bumper is now in place and uh, I went ahead and masked that all off. I did also uh, test fit the uh, rear tail lights, and uh, after a little bit of some more uh, filing and stuff like that, uh, I did install it for a test fit, which I'll show in my slideshow for picks, and uh, um, they fit in there pretty well. Um, once I uh, did all the uh, filing and and whatnot um, I went ahead like I said uh, masked everything off and uh, ready for uh, the initial uh, base coat for the paint I went ahead and uh, airbrushed the uh, <clears throat> uh, base coat which I used is the uh, <clears throat> folk art uh, metallic and this is the uh, silver sterling uh, number 662 and uh, like I said I just went ahead and uh, airbrushed the uh, the body of the uh, General Lee and uh, I did it in a lot of light uh, layered coats uh, to what you see right here I'll kind of turn this around a little bit so you can see the front and then the uh, the other side so uh, now let that sit for a day and uh, we're ready to uh, go ahead and put the final coat on. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and set this down. And uh, what I'm going to try and do is, is uh, mix my own colors here. I didn't want just straight out orange. Uh, um, I believe the show was calling for it to be a reddish orange. So I'm going to go with my two Craft Smarts uh, acrylic paints. Uh, and this is a gloss acrylic paint, and uh, one's going to be orange, and I got a little bit of bright red. So 
the initial will be the orange and I'll probably put a couple of drops of bright red and uh, mix it together and see what we can come up with a custom color. So uh, that's going to be our next step. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. And we're back. And uh, here she is uh, with the uh, custom color that I used. Uh, once again, uh, kind of show you. These are the two colors, uh, the orange and the bright red from Craftsmart Gloss Acrylic Paint. Uh, like I said, the it was just a matter of going back and forth, but the majority was the orange, and then I probably added, uh, you know, whatever drops of the bright red just to uh, get it to the color that uh, I thought was uh, close to what I wanted. And uh, <clears throat> this is the outcome. Uh, like I said, I thinned it down with some window, uh, windshield washer uh, and then applied it through my uh, Pache airbrush. And uh, <clears throat> this is what we have uh, for, for the color. And uh, like I said, I hope it's as close as I can get to what I imagined it would be. And uh, we'll kind of just do a little rotation here. Uh, I did apply several layers of coats on this. Uh, a real light coat at first and then I just kind of uh, brought it up to what it is now um, so I imagine I did about uh, a, a total of three coats on this um, and like I said uh, and in between the light coats I used my heat gun because it is acrylic paint uh, I just kind of want to dry it fast and uh, uh, and keep the uh, paint flowing so it doesn't dry in my air, uh, my Pache airbrush, but uh, that's the body, and uh, I think it turned out quite well. And uh, <clears throat> so we'll set that down. Of course, we can't forget about the hood. Uh, we went ahead, and uh, what I what I ended up doing first was just to test the color out. I started actually with the uh, underside of the hood just to make sure that it's the color I wanted once I was satisfied. Uh, then I went to the body of the uh, General Lee and then I came back and uh, applied the coat on the top of the, uh, the hood itself. And once again this was lightly done in layers and uh, until what you see now. So it's, uh, it's about got like three coats on it just like the body of the General Lee. So that is now done, and uh, of course any <clears throat> any paint I had left over, uh, I went ahead. I got I had these little uh, glass jars, and uh, I put the remainder of the paint inside the glass jar in case I need to do any touch up uh, once I start uh, assembling the rest of the uh, car together for its uh, finale. So there you go. So uh, like I said, I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, series so far and uh, until next time we will probably end up start putting this uh, car together and uh, until then I uh, hope everybody has a good day and uh, we'll catch you all later. Alright, bye.